people welcome to my channel I'm Arpita and I'm back again with another very interesting and very beneficial video for all the UGC net aspirants I know that UGC net exam is right around the corner and all of you must be worried about how to complete this ocean like syllabus of UGC net so here I am with this video in which I am going to talk about seven important points that you must remember when you're beginning your UGC net preparation and by attacking these seven points you will be able to systematically complete the UGC net syllabus in a very short span also I would like you to remember that these seven points that I'm sharing with you in this video is going to be seven different parts of a wheel and you have to follow all these seven parts if you want to get the wheel right so follow through this video and let me know in the comment section below if you want me to re-explain any of these points any further also if you have any other confusion related to UGC net or you are struggling with the preparation and you want me to share my insights about that preparation then please let me know in the comment section below and I'll promise you that I'm going to make a video addressing your question very shortly the first point which is at the top of the list is making notes now remember guys there can be 10,000 different materials that you can follow in order to prepare yourself for the upcoming net exam should you buy them all no then what should be the approach a lot of students ask me so at this point I would like to tell you that you need to keep your sources limited refer to a particular book for a particular chapter or a particular topic read it and then prepare notes which are conceptually right I have seen a lot of students writing everything down when they are preparing notes these notes are not going to help them score high in the exam in order to make efficient notes you need to skim through the previous year papers and see what kind of questions are being asked from that particular topic and then accordingly make your own notes also remember the fact that post-it notes highlighting all these things will help you to absorb the data fast on top of that I would also like to tell you that when you're making notes always remember that it might take a little more time to prepare notes and then study but if you have your notes then nobody on this earth can take that concept away from you just let us take an example of relationship questions which come in UGC net paper one now relationship is very important part of logical reasoning now when you are looking at relationship questions you might find out that you're not able to solve these questions very efficiently you go through a few YouTube videos you refer to a few books and finally you get to see a method a following which you can get that question right so make sure you prepare your notes write down the step-by-step -step procedure write down the mistakes that you are making while solving this question and this becomes your note before the day of the exam you just need to skim through these pages and you are done the next important thing that can actually help you a lot in your UGC net preparation is your approach now we all know that there are two papers in UGC net one is paper one and the second one is paper two now the way you study paper one is going to be different from the way you study paper two and also in paper one itself there are theoretical sections like communication like uh, research and there are practical sections like reasoning data interpretation so the way you are going to study data interpretation has to be totally different from the way you're going to approach research and this difference in approach is going to be a game changer so if you understand how you have to tackle a particular topic how you have to go about studying it and how you have to master it that will be an additional advantage that will help you crack net when it comes to this particular examination field because this these questions and these topics that you mostly see in the paper they are like monsters and you can't have one way to kill all these monsters there has to be different strategies and different methods that you have to employ in order to kill these monsters so for the theoretical sections you have to look at the theory whereas on the practical section you have to understand the concept and then look at the method to solve it so make sure you approach all these topics 
differently and then accordingly prepare your notes and in that process prepare yourself for the upcoming net exam the third important thing which will help you to make this delicious dish of UGC net is focus now I can't tell you how important focus is when you're preparing for any competitive exam because it is with focus that concentration comes and it is only through concentration that consistency comes why consistency is so important because we all feel motivated one fine morning and we start studying for the exam but then that consistency drops from the next day we are still the same person lazing around or maybe playing with our friends or surfing through internet watching endless YouTube videos so it is only through consistency that you can ensure that what you are doing on Monday you do it on Tuesday and what you do on Tuesday you do it on Wednesday and you continue this till the day of the exam I always tell my students one important thing that focus is about saying yes to one and no to all other 99 things. It is important to have that laser sharp focus when you are preparing for such a big exam. I was just going through a YouTube video wherein PV Sindhu, the famous athlete of India, she said that I was able to achieve all this success because my mentor made sure that I did not have my phone beside me for eight months of practice can you believe a person living without phone for eight months and see what beautiful results what histro historical performance that person has created that is the beauty of focus so make sure that you declutter your life everything you distract which is trying to distract you distract everything put everything away when you're studying for this particular exam because if you get this right then you can see and you can imagine a beautiful future for yourself the next important point is practice now we all have this tendency that when we start preparing for any exam we keep on reading books we keep on referring to notes we keep on watching youtube videos talking about different topics and how to approach them but what we miss out and what separates the general crowd from the toppers is practice now you all must understand the fact that it's fine you are studying so much but what are they going to ask you on the day of the exam are they going to ask you essay type answers are they going to ask you subjective type questions no they are going to ask you multiple choice questions mcqs so that is what you have to practice even after knowing a topic if you don't test yourself whether you are able to solve the mcqs properly then what is that hard work that you have put in is going to give you there would be no result of that hard work so it is important that from today itself you decide that every day you are going to solve 20 mcqs of paper one and 20 mcqs of paper two that is extremely important why because the mistakes that you're going to make in these mcqs that will help you to change your entire strategy that is going to help you to avoid the silly mistakes that you might do on the day of the exam and that might cost you a lot so it's better to uh, have mistakes and make mistakes and amend them before the exam rather than going to the field without preparation and then making all the mistakes on the great d-day so remember that you solve mcqs every single day without skipping at all also write one month before the exam start solving mock papers set a timer sit there and then make sure you complete entire paper one in that one hour and s evaluate yourself and see where have you made the mistakes i have made a lot of videos talking about how to solve mcqs what is the proper pattern to tackle mcqs a lot of students just solve mcqs and keep it aside they don't look at the mistakes they don't evaluate it and they don't correct it and that is the reason why they keep on making the same mistakes so make sure you are smart enough to learn from the mistakes you're making in the mock papers and not repeat them on the day of the exam 
There are three other points which I would like to put across the table which will be game changer in your UGC net preparation but since we are running out of time in this video I'm going to address these topics very shortly in the next video so stay tuned to my channel also there's a surprise waiting for all the students who are showcasing their love in the comment section so I'm going to pick up the best comment in the next video and also I'm going to give them a small gift. So write down in the comment section if you have any other questions, any other queries and I'm going to go through all these comments personally. Also at the same time, like and share this video with all who you think are going to get benefited from knowing these tips because this is how we grow as a person this is how we share our love to people around us so make sure you stay tuned to the channel also hit the bell icon so that you never miss an update from our channel so that's it for this video lecture we'll meet very soon in the next video lecture Till the time we meet next, happy learning, keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpatakarva.com.